As expected, the breakup drama between Tamar Braxton and her fiance, Jeremy Robinson, is heating up and trust, it's becoming hella messy. Hours after Jeremy tried to paint Tamar as the villain in the breakup, Tamar clapped back at him and revealed what really went down in the relationship. It turns out that Jeremy has been using Tamar and treating her horribly for the past couple of months, and he is the real villain in the story. Y'all might wanna grab some popcorn because this drama is about to be a wild ride. If Jeremy Robinson thought he could lie on Tamar's name, well, he has something else coming for him because Tamar just came out to expose him for lying on her and using her for clout. I swear, the moment she heard him spreading those rumors about her, she broke out her ring light and said, I'm not about to let this man lie on my good name. And she went live to set the record straight. In case y'all missed this, Tamar's man, well her ex-man, recently came out to announce to the world that he was done with Tamar and they had broken up. He took to his Instagram unprovoked to release a statement where he said, Tamar and I are no longer together. I ended the relationship to focus on getting back to positive energy and being a better person. What happened and why? That's our private place. No, I never cheated. He also added, I never cared about fame. I have always represented famous people and the truth is I was in an amazing place financially and mentally. I turned down Queens Court several times before I gave in. Ultimately, I fell in love and it did not end how I wanted it. So I wanna heal. Tamar and I will always be friends and family for life. This was kind of surprising to everyone cause we didn't know that they were having relationship problems or that they were on the verge of a breakup. But like we knew that the relationship had major red flags so it was bound to end sooner or later. Sorry, not sorry. Anyways, what was really surprising about this breakup was that Jeremy announced it out of nowhere. I'm not trying to be mean or anything by saying that, but the odds were stacked against this relationship from the very start. There's the fact that Tamar had been in so many relationships that all ended badly, and there were DV accusations and restraining orders filed in almost all her past relationships. So y'all know how messy it's been. And it's not like Jeremy was any better cause he has been making single mothers left and right. He clearly can't keep it in his pants cause he has five kids with four baby mamas, which is a big enough red flag on its own. It gets worse when you throw in the fact that none of his baby mamas seem to like him very much. And when you add in the fact that he was engaged to another woman just a couple of months before he proposed to Tamar, then it goes from being a red flag to be in an entire carnival of red. Anywho, Tamar and Jeremy met on a reality show called Queen's Court and they fell in love, or at least they believed that it was love. He proposed to her in the season finale of the show, even though they had only known each other for a couple of weeks. And of course she happily said yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I love you, Tamar. Tamar, will you, will you marry me? Something told me to trust the process and I've never done anything like this before. And what's the worst that can happen? I find love. It was at this point that one of his baby mamas came out to send a warning to Tamar that Jeremy wasn't who he pretended to be on social media. The baby mama revealed that Jeremy liked to cosplay as a black man and prey on beautiful black women. She said, he has a fetish over black women, so much so that he often refers to himself as light skin, white chocolate, and tags himself the minority within the minority. He would attend the club almost nightly, preying on beautiful black women and taking them home. She also revealed that he was extremely rude, arrogant, racially insensitive, womanizing, and degrading adding that he claims to be an ally of the people and a protector of black women, but his actions tell us otherwise. She also exposed him for being a colonizing predator that fulfills his fetish of biracial babies to further feed his ego and desire of wanting to be accepted amongst the black community. At first, people's concerns about the relationship were all about how they both had bad track records with relationships, but the baby mama's revelation sent alarm bells ringing and fans started begging Tamar to get out of the relationship, but she was too in love to listen to what people were saying. Well, it wasn't long until the baby mama drama started again, because when Tamar made her birthday post a couple of months ago, one of Jeremy's baby mamas came out to clap back at her. In the post, Tamar said, it's my birthday, but I have to post the one who puts this cheesy smile on my face. It took me a while to realize that this wholesome traditional love is the kind that I wanted and needed. We have six children between the two of us and they mean everything to me. So miss me with the, he has four baby mamas, Thank God for them. Well, this baby mama clapped back and said, let me be clear for all who know me and all who know them. 
This woman is in no way a bonus or stepmom to my son. My son does not mean everything to her and she has not thanked God for me and truthfully, none of his baby mamas. She has said demeaning, disrespectful, and outrageous things. She has made no effort to meet me, get to know me as a woman or mother, and has caused my son's father to miss visitation weekends and birthdays. Child, talk about a major embarrassment. Now, with all this being said, you would think that Tamar would be the one to break up with Jeremy and distance herself from his messy situation, right? Well, according to Jeremy, he was the one who dumped her. In fact, he made sure to stress this fact in his statement, just so people didn't think that Tamar was the one who did the dumping. But it turns out that the statement wasn't entirely true because Jeremy slid in a couple of lies there. Y'all know how he tried to make it seem like he was forced to go on Queen's Court and he didn't want to become famous? Well, Holly Robinson, who is the host of the show, took to Instagram to expose him for lying about this, saying, wishing you both well, not sure about turning down Queen's Court three times, you were one of the most prepared, camera-ready kings of them all. Not Holly exposing him for the world to see, but it gets juicier because Tamar went live to address the situation and she started off by saying that she had been working on herself to become a better person. I have done a lot to work on my mental health and change who I used to be into who I am now. And um, I can't help if people fall into that perception because it's easy. And I get it, you know, but I won't let anybody hold me captive to my past and things that I have overcome. I feel like the reason she said this is that people have been talking about how she was probably the problem in the relationship because she's known to be toxic and unstable. But she didn't stop there because she then revealed that Jeremy had pulled a Jeezy on her and blindsided her with the breakup. Today, I'm mentally healthy and I'm happy. Um, I'm hurt, but such is life. I'm surprised, but okay. She also had this to say. Just want everybody to know that um, the devil is a dirty liar and I've worked my entire behind off. I funded this entire tour. Child, Jeremy did Tamar dirty big time and fans dragged him saying, I think Tamar has a lot of issues. However, these men be clout chasers and just as toxic. I'm surprised so many people are defending the man with five baby mamas who really didn't do anything on the show to show he was a good guy. That man pursued Tamar, showered her with gifts, and straight up love bombed her, all while adamantly promoting his business, shaking my head. Tamar, this too shall pass. And JR has five kids and four baby mamas. If anyone is being dumped, it's probably not Tamar. But it looks like Tamar is really working on herself and becoming a better person because when she saw that Jeremy was getting a lot of heat online, she backtracked on her statements and said that the live was never about Jeremy. So when Shade Room posted it, Tamar quickly hopped in the comments and said, not at all, I was talking about my tour. Okay, Tamar. Okay, whatever you say. But anyways, do you guys believe Tamar's version of events or do you think that she's just playing the victim again? Let me know what you think in the comments, then check out this next video.